Let's talk about the risk of losing the network connection. And to do that, first we have to discuss the two basic types of networks. First, there's a client-server network. Uh, in that case, the server that stores the software that you use for your practice management, as well as the data for that software, is the server is actually inside the office. All computers that use the software would need, then need to connect to that server to access the software and to access the data. In a web-based or cloud-based server, the server is off-site, and therefore any computer that would need to access the software and data associated with that software for that account would simply need to connect to the internet to get to that to get to that server. So let's talk about the client-server system first. You can see that there are multiple different devices here: scanners, printers. You could have a tablet as well. All of those computers. And on a client server system connect to a router first where the internet comes in as well as the server connects to. So in other words to connect to the server they first have to connect to the router and then they have to connect to the server. That's how the data is shared through that central router. In a client server system in order to use your practice management software you need both a working router and a working server internally as well as having this system, this connection working for all of these different systems, all of these different computers. So you must have both a working router and internal network to use your software and access your data. Let's talk about a web-based system now. In a web-based system there is actually no need to connect to a router to get to the internet. A lot of devices today have direct access to the internet. It's always better in a, best, in a best case scenario to have a router and to connect to a router hardwired. But as you know, you can have a wireless router. And uh, most computers, even desktops today, the one I'm using right now actually has a, uh, a Wi-Fi connection. So you, connect, you can connect Wi-Fi directly to the internet through the router. Some computers, especially the newer laptops, the systems like iPads and iPhones, a lot of those have direct connection to the internet through a cellular service and now with the addition of 4G service that uh, connection is even faster which enables you to run the system regardless of a connection to your own router in your office. So in essence you could be outside of your office without any connection to your router or the internet whatsoever and you could connect to the internet independently of what's happening inside of your office. So to use the software that's a web-based software, the software and a web-based software is is servers in a data center and the data itself is also in that server in, in a data center off-site. So for a web-based system you can use your software without a working router or an internal network. So if your network goes down in your office and you're using a client server based system, the disadvantage is you have to get that network back up and running before you can start using the system again and uh, accessing that data. When it goes down, typically what happens is you have to call your somebody that knows how to reconfigure this because as a, as a provider, you're usually not an expert in this and uh, maybe you have a patient that set it up for you. If not, you have to get a service that could come in for you and fix that, all of which takes time. With a web-based system, worst case scenario is your, your office no longer exists. You can still connect to the server via the internet instantly without ever having to worry about your your internet or your internal network being repaired. You could have essentially zero downtime as a result of your network going down in your office.